good afternoon. As you can tell, I'm in a car. Uh, thanks to DIY Semi, he allowed me to use one of his extra vehicles and go home for the weekend. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go home and surprise the wife. She thinks I am staying in Wisconsin with the truck um, until Monday. Well, there's nothing I can do right now. The shop closes closed at noon. There, there's no sense in me being there. I'm about four hours away from home, so... I was either gonna borrow a car from DIY or rent one and get home. Um, I miss my family, to be honest with you. I, I miss my wife, I miss my daughter. My oldest daughter's off at college. I heard through the grapevine that she might be home this weekend, which I hope she is. I miss my stepson. Um, I just wanna get home and, and kinda, kinda decompress, you know, I, I think I think that's important. Um, I've been in this trucking industry for going on 23 years. And um, everything I have monetarily, my house, the cars, the, the little bit of money we have, and the trips we go on, trucking has provided all that for me. Um, trucking is something that is, for me is a very like love-hate relationship. Um, and the reason I say that is I've sacrificed a lot in the career choice that I've made. And then when I became an owner operator, I didn't realize that I was actually going to be sacrificing more. You know, um, this might have been naive of me, which I know a lot of us that were company drivers that might have watched YouTube videos, saw all the money that owner operators are making, we thought that we could become owner operators make all this money and be home more maybe not run the truck maybe you know get people to run the truck for us and we can be at home more and at least in my experience so far in almost two years that's that's so far from the truth um yes you make a lot of money yes you you change your life it changed, it changed my life becoming an owner operator. Um, but it also cost me a lot and it still continues to cost me a lot. Whether it's repairs on the truck, uh, uh, there's so many costs that are built into being an owner operator. And another one that I kind of overlooked was, was like more of the sacrifice of the family, which I have such a supportive family, but at times, being out here on the road alone all the time, it eats at you. It eats at your heart, man. You uh, you miss people in a different way. Um, I was fortunate enough at a young age to be, to play on a couple of hockey teams that we traveled all over the place, all over the world. I mean, we went to different countries all over the United States playing in hockey tournaments and seeing seeing the world as a young kid was absolutely amazing you know and if I was gone for a week or two it, it didn't really bother me obviously I got homesick a little bit because I was young but then you got home and you know everything was good being out on the road as long as I have been this time it, it's a different it's a different feel and it's a cost that I chose to take you know what I mean? I chose to become an owner operator. I chose to start a business, which means I take on all the responsibilities of that. And anybody that tells you it's easy is, is lying to you, man. They're, they're lying to you. Um, if, if they're really looking at their trucking business as easy and simple and not a lot of sacrifice, I, I would, uh, if you're getting that type of information, I would look for, for other people to lean on and talk to because, you know, I, I haven't really been home since the 31st of August. Now that's my choice, but you know, we're in a freight market that kind of requires you to bust your ass right now to work, to, to stack, to stack chips that that's my that's how I view this right now it's my responsibility to stack chips um, because we're we're in a recession I nobody wants to say it but we are 
And if you can be profitable right now as a business owner, you should take full advantage of that. And sometimes that means you're gonna sacrifice the things you love the most. Time with friends, time with family, time going to sporting events for your kids. I mean, and I, I'm not trying to sound sappy, but those are all things that really matter to me. My, my daughters, my wife, my stepson, my friends, All that stuff matters to me, and it's been a while since since I've admitted that. Um, shit. I missed my daughter's senior year of high school. I missed my daughter's last year of playing competitive softball. I missed my youngest daughter's you know, first year of high school soccer. Um, man, I don't regret one minute of it, but just sitting here on this drive right now, I know this is a long rant and I apologize, but it's really got me thinking. Not about, not about giving up. Absolutely not. But just, it's got me thinking. You know, I, I waited a long time to become an owner operator. I was a company driver for 19, 20 years. I, I was a father to my daughters. I was a loving husband to my wife. I, I tried to give us the best life that I could. Um, then I became an owner operator. Then it was my turn to live out my dream. And I don't regret, I don't regret it. I, I'm, I'm grateful for it, but for some reason today, I felt that that pull in my heart, like, just go home. Go hug your wife. <laughs> go give your wife a kiss. Hug your daughter that's there. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And, and once again, thank you, DIY Semi, you know, for allowing me to, to borrow one of your vehicles and, and get home. Um, I really appreciate it. I need it. I need it, man. So thank you. All right. Later.